City and county leaders are considering a property tax increase to support emergency management services in Leon County, but it still has a long way to go until you feel any impact. ABC 27's Kendall Brandt went to the city's budget workshop today to find out how this could impact those taxpayers. Kendall, you talked to those taxpayers. What are they telling you? Channing and Ava Irwin Jackson is a landlord and taxpayer in Tallahassee, and he says that he worries this proposed increase will make it harder for him to provide housing to his tenants at an affordable price. When I get a tax bill that's increased, uh, am I going to pay it? No, my tenant will. And it uh, makes life significantly more difficult for that tenant. Urban Jackson says a property tax increase to support policing and emergency management services is not the answer to the problem. He says these increases will hurt landlords and tenants alike during a time that is already financially difficult. I had tenants for the first time 40 years I had increased the rent on when they were simply re wanting to renew and I've never had to do that before. So it's, it's getting worse. The two millage rate hikes would increase the property tax of an average homeowner by about $168 a year. $132 of that going toward the police department, which is down $12 from what was proposed at the last workshop. The rest will support the cost that comes with the 94% increase in emergency calls in Leon County from 2004 to 2022. Something that Commissioner Curtis Richardson says is a life or death matter. Her son was shot and killed. How do we tell that mother that we're not going to invest in increased public safety in our community? Not all commissioners agree. With the stroke of the pen, we're raising everybody's rents. Commissioner Jeremy Matlow says he thinks there are other ways we can improve public safety than upping the tax rate and wants to see more data supporting the need for the increase for EMS. If we want to um, save lives, it's, it's about reducing poverty. It's about making housing affordable. It's about making sure people have um, more take-home pay. All these things that we know make our communities um, safer. And Jackson says he believes the police and EMS need funding, but thinks the city can do it in other ways. Remove that off the table. And then let's look at all the other programs that we have and determine which ones we need, which ones should be expanded, or which ones have been around and really are not serving a purpose and should actually be eliminated. City commissioners ultimately voted to move forward with these two proposed increases with a public hearing set on June 14th so more people like Jackson can come and learn about the proposed increases and have their voices heard. Live in Tallahassee, Kendall Brandt, ABC 27.